Welcome back, this is Fudds playing Suicoden 3. This is episode 2 of a Let's Play. When we last left off, left off, we were playing through Hugo as chapter 1 of the game. We left off with Hugo quite tired. He just had, had a lovely meal. We've been asked for his mother to go and deliver a message to the, the Iron Heads capital. And we now need to find Hugo's home, sleep for a night, and we'll carry on with the chapter. As ever, my name is Fuds, um, and let's come in with game then. Well, we were out here, let's walk in and see what people have to say. Watch out for yourself, okay? When you get back, be sure to tell me about Rene Del Zexe. I have no idea what these voices are going to sound like. It sounds absolutely terrible to me, so... Let me know if you don't want to hear my voice, because sometimes my voice can be a little bit silly. But let's carry on. I know it's a lot to ask Hugo, but take care of Lulu. If he whines, no need to be nice with him. Great, I got permission to bully him. Perfect. Hugo, hurry up and get your stuff ready for tomorrow. Of course, this is no condonement for bullying. Bullying is bad, you should never bully somebody. If you are a bully and you hear this, then shame. You may encounter monstrous enemies in the woods. If you do, just run. You'll never beat them. Oh. Sensible guy. Swimming. It's great to have visitors. You learn so much from them. Just the same way it's great to have visitors. And... Oh, hey, you need any medicine? It didn't fit in my bag. Do you want it? Yeah, except medicine D. Whoa, you go. It's been a long time. Want to stay here? Nah. Come again. Why else would I ever stay in an inn in my hometown? Stay at home. I'm gonna take a duck, a griffin, and my best friend with me. All these tents look exactly the same. Please take a look around. Hey, it's a shop. Oh, rare items. What do we have? Medicine C, kindness drops, and flaming arrows. And with normal items, we've got Medicine D, Throat Drops, which is silence, so I haven't got any of those, and may want to take one of those just in case, an Antitoxin, which I've been given, and a Sacrificial Jizzo, which useful items to have and never end up with them because never end up dying in the game. If you're dying in the game, you're not doing it right. Ching, ching, ching. And I think with this one, you still need to equip people with stuff. Party items. Antitoxin equipped to Hugo, I think. And throat drops equipped to Sergeant Joe. Medicine C isn't quite as good as that one. Well, I won't equip anybody with anything else because everybody else has got some food and stuff. Oh, random got the back here. What you got? Oh, we said it's nice. Look at the way it curves here, pervert. Hey, Mrs. Your, your husband's a pervert. He's a pervert! And Miss House here. We have the inn, we have the item shop, we'll always be armory. We've got a random guy here. The art design is excellent. I'm glad I came here, all the way from Chisa. That's a new place. Yeah, this has got a forge. Ah, this will be your blacksmith then. Hey, you go, you take it and carry your sword. Bring it in any time you want me to fix it. So, with Forge and Sweet Coding Games, you spend money, you raise up the level of your weapon. For instance, Hugo's Kwan here is level 3, a 3 9 attack. Fubar is an animal, he doesn't use any weapons. Sergeant Joe, he's got a Pajori, or Pajori. I don't know how you're going to say that. Uh, level 5, 65, here's your basic badass character to start off the game with. 
I knew you He's got a sut. No idea what a sut is, but he's got one. Oh, I'm not gonna level up my weapons just yet. You don't need to just yet. It's always a good idea to keep things tidy. Oh! I know this girl. She looks unique. I need some different weapons, but it's hard to find good ones. And that's the Isla we talked about earlier. Basic World of Super Coden, as I ever say, if a character has a face, they're a major character. We have to remember we have to remain armed at all times. You never know when war will start again. A sad way to a sad state of affairs. I can't even actually get out of this damn place, because Isla's in the way. Yeah, if a character has a face, you'll probably be able to recruit them later on in the game. I wonder what's going to happen if you try and leave a village. Today they announced the lottery results. I just couldn't stay at home. I'll try and leave a village. Alright, everyone. Not going to get anything ready here for tomorrow just by standing here. Okay. I'm trying to stand there. I'm trying to leave the village. Oh my life, that house is on fire. Oh no, it's just a. No, that's a um, attention to detail I've never noticed before. But blacksmith has smoke. And as you walk in. Got a problem? Don't think you better start preparing for a trip now? I suppose so. I've been around the town so many times. I can't wait to get started. See you tomorrow, fellow travellers. Oh, that is a pain in the ass. Don't ever sleep or we'll leave around you. Make sure I pack everything. What do you think? You go ten different outfits enough? What's everyone doing here? Just returning short course. We'll certainly pray for your quick return and protection along the way. Just going to the enemy's capital is not as if we're going to another country. I think that means we are going to another country. Hey! Road trip! Lulu, aren't you ready yet? Oh no, I think I overpacked. Better safe and sorry to pack medicine too. Yes, yes, if you keep acting like we're going to hurt something. How do you know what the Zekin will do? They look friendlier than they are. Who knows? Yeah, yeah, I'll watch out. No wandering on my own. No strange food or drink. Anything else? Yeah, change your underwear. Don't even ask. You're going to experience of a world beyond grasslands is not as important to me as your safe return. Yeah. May Hugo walk with the divine protection of the earth and wind spirits. I'll be fine. Don't be embarrassed. To be loved by one's family is nothing to be ashamed of. Fair comment. I've never seen Hugo look this way before. You're the same look too. <laughs> I think you need to kill him. May Lulu walk with divine protection of the earth and wind spirits and may need healing very soon as well. Spirits, help me now! <coughs> so, wait, Hugo, Hugo sound like. Then Fuba sound like a cat then. Meow! <coughs> and it's dropped me outside the village, which is nice though. She could rotate well, map. Oh, wait, it's Jimba. Here you go, I have a favour to ask of you. 
Sure, what is it? Take this. Take this to the light, fellow family, and Vinay Zell's XA. What is this? All I can say is that one belongs to a brave Zexan soldier who died long ago when he, when, he, when he gave it to his family. Tell him that he died heroically. The soul of a warrior. I'll take good care of it. I trust you'll do so. Well, that's an interesting sign, isn't it? We all know who the light fellow family is. If you've been playing along, I'll take a pentacle. It's like a tentacle, but you can write with it. Pentacle. When this is delivered, my biggest burden will be lifted. Oh wait, made of a vine one's protector. Thank you. Farewell for now. And Lulu, do nothing but what sat in your mother. I'll be fine, you'll see. So long, brother. You have to wonder whether Lulu dyes his hair or not. It's naturally um, two tone. And now, suddenly, there's the Jonam's pen on the map. Okay, so we've got the um, plain of a moor north, we've got the duck village, a plain of moor, a brass castle, the Zexan forest, and Vinaldo Zexai. And of course, the menu. No, don't go back into town, that's a bad idea. Okay, so we would have to go to the um Renato was XA, we've gotta go over to the Play No More. Play No More And enter. Okay. It's a map. Run around it and do stuff. And get into fights with a purple creeper. Right, which was a fight, retreating an auto. I'm gonna fight. Attack that thing. Attack it and attack it. Commence! Munch, munch, munch. Lulu's on friendly. Hmm. Oh, here. Really a save point. Might as well save. Classic water RPG. Save when you can. Um, Lulu took about 30 damage there. It's not the end of the world. Is there anything in this field other than just open field? And enemies? Play buddies! Three kills there, and Sergeant Joe got one. You can see from the stars next to her name how much of the work they've done.
Now, jumping this map, you can actually go anywhere else. You can fight um, three fur flies. Take a figurine. Okay. It's always a good idea to get some fights under your belt in the first area because it's normally quite an easy area and you can level up nice and easily using it. So I'm going to do a tiny bit of grinding here, maybe a little bit just to get to grips with a battle system. I've not really played Suicoven 3 in a long time. So remembering things like that is always useful. automatically do these battles because these early battles aren't very hard, you just attack, play attack. You can use magic if you want to, but it's not crucial. Wandering around the area. It's, it's nice music in this area. It's always interrupted by battle music as well. Indeed. You can sometimes pick up some interesting runes from this area as well. From any starting area. I mean, I remember in um, Sweet Code 2, I think it was a double beat rune you get in one of the earliest areas. You can get it much later on in the game if you're lucky, but it's a lot easier to get it early in the game. You get to grind a bit as well. fights in the area after this one I think to get a few more bits of money of course the money is always good for buying stuff here as well because those these characters don't seem to have much money to spend early on because you just yeah what's 2000 money which is always nice um, so Conan always uses, well this one uses Potch, which is nice because I like Potch. It's a lovely name for currency. Potch. Much better than Bits. I think when Bits were there originally, Potch is a much nicer name. Sounds like, like, sounds like a currency should be. Bits just sound like you're putting out bits of metal from your pocket, which is coin, I suppose, but... Yeah, Bits. Potch. Nasty. Because I've got that attack, which always seems to do lots of damage and make them friendly. Purple Creeper just 
Just made into an area of purple nothingness. And we'll have one more fight and I'll head across the yellow line to the next area. I mean, it's sad to think this will place the world map into a code on three. And we got a pair of purple creepers. Always nice. Okay, so rune. Let's try a bit of physical attack. Let's finish on top of auto attack. So you know, use up a single rune piece there, as you can see on the top there. But I got through it relatively unscathed. Let's get out of here. There's a new area here. It's interesting. This is where this room comes in. Let's go and kill them. at all. Frankly, whenever you die in a game like this, you come back with very low hit points. You come back with one hit point. But you come back with hit points at least. Let's use up my potions. Heal them up. And I'll heal Sergeant Joe because Sergeant Joe does a bit damage as well. It's not as if it's not going to take any more damage because he is going to. Are any chests in the area? Again, you always got to be careful when playing an RPG looking out for those chests. Doesn't appear to be any chests. Let's just get out of here. Into this here forest. Let's see what's in this forest, eh? And through a forest, we've got. The world map! Next up is Brass Castle. But I think we're 25 minutes into this video. So I think we're going to leave it off there for now. When we come back, Hugo's going to continue his journey into a Brass Castle to see what follows up next. I'm assuming castles aren't exactly the most um, 
exciting boat. Castle was probably very exciting actually, but it doesn't look like it's made out of brass. It looks made out of brick actually. But we're going to leave off here. End of the episode. As ever, thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely evening. Have a lovely night, wherever you are. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Uh, you can leave a comment if you've got any feedback. Again, if you think I'm doing something wrong, then let me know. I often do things wrong. I try not to, but it's unavoidable sometimes. And please tune in next time for episode 3, where I visit Rask Castle.